Uh, Hits go, um, you know, movement go, uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> My goodness. <clears throat> Hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back. As always, I appreciate it. Hope you had a wonderful day or night. Welcome back to my channel. I am Deluxe. We got a new Transformer in. Gonna finish off the three studio series I got. I did Cogman and uh, Scrap Metal. And today we have uh, Shatter. She is the female Decepticon that was in Bumblebee the movie. Very cool. Number 40. Yep, number 40. Very cool. There. And the back, if you want to free frame and read that, you're more than welcome to. Very cool. All right, let's open it up, see what we're working with. <laughs> Love you, Transformers. All righty. And as always, instructions. And uh, this is when I think they fell down to earth at the convenience store or in a drop kick. All right. She has no face. Where are her eyes at? They should have colored her eyes, man. Come on now. All right. Well, here she is. I'm going to get her out. I'll be right back. Here she is out of her package. And once again, uh, getting her out, just like Cogman, she's got some really loose ball joints on her shoulders. I have to touch, her, that, touch this up with uh, some fingernail polish also. All right, there she is. On the side. Let's see, push that backpack up, I guess. I don't know, that's weird. And in the back. All right. She has no eyes. Come on. How are you going to see? All right. I'm going to take a look at her, you know, and um, get to know her a little better. And I'll come back and I'll say what I think. All right. All right. Back for transformation. I do not recommend transforming this thing. This thing is really fragile. Like I told you, the arms or the whatever uh, things will pop off. I need to add some fingernail polish or floor polish. So the arms pop off. These things, the little part of the hood up here pops off all the time. They're really all held on by friction and stuff. It's just a pain. Everything has to line up and everything. There's some panels and stuff. It's a pain in the butt to transform. But overall, the car does not look that bad. It's a nice, you know, um, sports car or not, I'm sorry, a muscle car. Um, it's really, you know, got some great paint. All that black back there is painted. And you got some red right, painted right there. And that's really nice. You got some black stripes up the top. You got some gun metal up there for the engine and stuff, engine block and everything. You know, you got some silver right here and some painted silver back there. So it's got a lot of paint and it looks really nice. You know, it's fun, you know, once you get in there. You know, they got the 722 <clears throat> painted right there. So it's got a lot of paint and it doesn't look that bad, to be honest, but it's just not fun getting there. So, I mean, it just matter, you know, just gotta be careful. Like I said, the arms pop off real easy and then parts of the hood uh, pop off. But it rolls really nice, you know, cleans up pretty good on the bottom. <clears throat> so it's not bad. So yeah, it's, it doesn't look bad, but it's just not really fun to get there. So, you know, just matter how, you know, a little, there's a little gapage right there. You know, I really couldn't, I, every time you try to, press it in a lot more stuff 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 you know moving out of place so that's the best i could get get it but like i said you know looks pretty good and got some nice paint and everything just not really fun all right there is a shatter in a muscle car mode next to crapagonics next to a bottle of water and toilet paper all right back from transformation oh my god I literally had to take the arms off, both arms, and this little part back here, this thing just pops off. It's, it's held in by friction right in here. You just press it up right here. Hope y'all can see that. It just comes off, you know, just like that. That's simple. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. <sighs> Man. 
I can see what they were trying to do, and it, you know, and it, it seems like they tried to make a triple changer out of it. The looks. I mean, it's just I don't know the materials. I mean, it doesn't feel bad, but they just yeah. I mean, it's just uh, I don't know. He has a she has weapons. Uh, these little side, you know, hand cannons or whatever they're arm cannons. Uh, they're just black, you know, plastic, nothing special. She can hold them. You can put them in her hand like that, and she can hold them and everything. But mostly they put them on the side right here. So she's got little blasters on the side and everything. So here she is again. The head sculpt is, I don't know, it's weird looking. I guess it's supposed to be the battle mask or something. Because I, I really like it, you know, if she would have had something like that. You know, but she doesn't. Anyways, all right, the head sculpt. She does have paint, you know, nice silver paint and gum metal for the mask and everything, and some silver right there on top of her head and all that stuff. It does look down, it does look up really good, side to side, all the way around, and she can do the, you know, kind of thing, so that's pretty good. All right, arm movement, just be careful. I, I'm probably going to pop off something, you know, because go all the way up to there. A uh, bicep swivel, uh, more a little more than 90 degrees on, and uh, just about 90 degrees on the elbow bend, and nothing for the hands. I oh, mean, golly, this thing is just, come on, so fragile. Uh, moving on down, nice gun middle for the chest, all that stuff, everything that popped off a, uh, a couple times trying to, you know, move it up in a transformation. So it's just stuff just popping off. I mean, it's just like, anyways, uh, no waist swivel. Nice silver for the thighs and the you know upper thighs too. Everything she does have a little th uh, thigh swivel. I can. Oh my god! Damn thing popped off again. Come on now. So she does have a little that popped off too. Yeah. Yeah. Take that off. I'm, just, I'm, I'm done. Jeebus. Yeah, this is this is not good. Come on, Hasbro. You're better than this. I don't know. So, screw it. Silver down here. A uh, little thoughts will she does if you you know stuff don't stop popping off and everything. 90 degree knee bend, I guess. Uh, and she can twist at the knee also. Uh, she does have a toe tilt up and a toe tilt down. They could have put a rocker on there, I think, but they didn't. So, and she does have a, you know, backpack. Uh, if you put those things back on, they do cover up the little hole, like the tracks hole or something, but they won't stay on or anything. So, there's the back of it. All right, there's Shatter in robot mode. All right, there she is next to Bumblebee and Dropkick. All right, there she is with uh, some deluxes from other lines and a Legends class from Hasbro. Alright, Leader Class, Voyagers, and Deluxes in some Studio Series. Crapagonics. Bottle of Water. Toilet Paper. And Squeaks. Dog. All right, final thoughts. See right here, you know, that those little red things do cover up and everything, all that stuff. It, no, it, this is this is kind of trashy. It looks good, you know. The the rope, you know, the bot. I'm sorry, Jeebus. The alt mode looks really good. I like it. It's got a lot of paint. It looks really nice. It looks like a nice little muscle car. Um, transformation is trash. Uh, everything falls off. They're just it's so fragile. I mean, I feel like I'm. Like this is just like a step back from the studio series, really it is. If it would have been, if I wouldn't have got Dropkick, I probably, you know, if I would have saw some uh, reviews of this uh, little lady, I wouldn't have got it. But um, engineering, no. Uh, the articulation, 
it's decent. You, you you can get her some decent poses and everything. I like the angle tilt and everything. It does got some cool stuff like this thing right here. You know, you know, it's, it's part of the uh, front of the um, or side of the car and everything that comes over and everything. That's cool. It's got some really nice, like they were really trying, but it just like they just didn't have the money to finish it or something. I don't know. It's just weird. You know, paint is really good. It's got a lot of paint. You know, the head sculpt is, eh, I wish they would have gave her a face. Like, I can't see the eyes. I guess it's a battle mask or something. But overall, if, you know, if you don't, if you really don't need this one, don't get it. It's it's just really poorly made. I mean, it just stuff falls off all the time. Transformation is not fun because everything just falls off. Like I said, literally, I had to take off the arms and these red pieces right here that were falling off. I had to take them off just to transform her. And that's just not fun and everything. And I don't, I mean, if a kid got this, I don't know what, I mean, they'd be losing pieces left and right. So I don't know. Like I said, uh, there's supposed to be a dropkick uh, uh, car mode coming. Um, I kind of hope they would do like a maybe a Voyager of these or a, a later class of a triple changer. But man, if they made it like this, oof. I don't know. All right, I'm just rambling. It, this is not very good. But anyway, I'm going to get on the floor. I'm going to do some floor time. Why don't you join me and be my neighbor? All right, all right, all right. All right. This is probably the worst studio series I've gotten from them. It's, it's a shame, man. It's such wonderful paint, you know, and articulation's not bad and everything. And she doesn't, the scope isn't terrible, but golly, just it's not fun. Not fun at all. I wonder if they're going to make the jet one, jet mode, since, I, you know, drop kids getting two modes. I wonder if they're going to do the jet one for her. I hope it's better than this, man, because, man, if I can get it back into car mode without throwing it across the room, I might put it in car mode because she looks pretty good in the, the muscle car. I like that. Hey, chicken, what you doing? Hey there, Shatter. I heard you can't even stay together. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, it's okay. <laughs> you want to ride? I don't know if you want to ride because you might fall apart. I don't want you to fall apart on me. That ain't nice. Pew, pew, pew. Uh. All right. Well, that's from my review on Shatter. And yeah, not fun at all. So uh, go ahead and hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit me with some comments and tell me what you think of the review. Are you going to get this girl and try to, you know, see if you can make it better than I can? Hopefully they're not all like this. I don't know. My boy Paul C, he uh, he warned me about her, told me to be careful. And I was like, okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, go in there and hit that sub button for me. And I guess I'll see you on the next review. And as always, hell has bro. And good night, folks. Oh yeah, my time to shine. I hope nothing falls apart.